Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can make these custom animated title slides just using shapes and inbuilt PowerPoint animations. So let's jump into it. So as usual, we'll start with a new blank presentation and right click on the background and choose layout blank. Now we'll create the first graphics and we'll need a circle. And if we right click on this and go to format shape, we want our circle to be one centimeter by one centimeter. It can be any size you like, but this looks good and just makes it easier to work with. I'm going to color this one in orange and have no outline. Now we can create the trail that goes behind it. And to do that, we're going to use a rounded corner rectangle. So you can click anywhere to draw it out. And then you look at this little yellow dot and move it all the way to the right. It will make it fully rounded. So when we drag this out, you can see the effect it will have. We actually want to make this five centimeters high by one wide, which is the same as the circle. And we want this to be rotated by 45 degrees. No outline. And then for fill, we want a gradient fill. We can just click on these and drag them down because we don't need them. We only need two stops. We're going to select the same orange for the first and second stop. And then make sure that the stop on the right is 100% transparent by either typing in 100% or dragging up this box to the right. Nice. Now we want to make sure they're perfectly aligned. So we'll click on this and drag it over the top until it's in exactly the right place. If you hold down control on the keyboard, you can use the mouse wheel to zoom in. That's looking good. Now we can easily create the color variations. So I'm just going to move this roughly where I want it on the screen. Press control D to duplicate and drag it down slightly. This is going to be the green one. So I'm going to select green for both of these gradient stops. And then as before, click on the right hand side one and make sure the transparency is on 100%. We'll also right click on this and choose center back just so we can get to this one easier. And now let's make this green. And then click on them both. Control G to group and now control D to duplicate. It's just a quicker way of doing it. This will be our purple. And we'll do the same again with the gradient where we select purple for both sides. hundred percent transparency. Control D again. And if we hold down shift while dragging our mouse over this circular arrow, we can rotate in the increments we want to use for the top ones. This will be our red one. And finally, the light blue. Looking good. Now let's add the animation. So I'm just going to make sure these items are grouped because each of these wants to be one grouped thing. And to do that, shift select until they're both selected and press control G. So now each one of these is just one item. So we can now go to animations, choose add animation and go to motion path. Because these are the animations we're going to be using. And the first thing we want to do is reverse the path direction. And now, we can just click on this red dot and drag it to where we want it to start. 
which will be slightly off the page and at the angle and position so it looks like it's just sliding on. And we also need to add an appear because if we don't do this, then you'll see the elements on the page right at the start before they animate. And what we want them to do is animate on. So we'll add the appear, then we'll go to the animation pane. We'll click on this one, which is the motion path and just drag it down and make sure that this happens with previous. And then on the first one, we'll make sure that happens with previous. So now when the slide starts, the animation starts. But I also want to make this a bit quicker, so I'm going to choose 0.75, double click and make sure it's got a smooth end because that's a nice effect for this and then OK. Great. And now I'll show you an easy way how you can add that animation to all the others. So we'll click on the one that's got the animation. You can either click once or twice on the animation painter and I'll show you the difference if you click once. You can apply it to one thing. And if you click twice, then you can apply it to multiple things. But when we apply it to this one at the top, you'll notice we just have to turn it around. And to do that, we can just click on this red dot again and drag it up here. And now I can click on this, click on Animation Painter, and then click on the blue one. So now these should all appear with a nice smooth animation all at the same time. Great. The only thing I wanted to change on this was it's nice to have a small delay as they come in so they're staggered, which gives what I think to be a really nice animation effect. So we can just shift select to select these two, put a quarter of a second delay on those and apply the same thing to the next few half a second on those, three quarters of a second on those, and one second on those. Now when we play, you'll see it all comes in with a slight delay and a nice effect. Finally, we'll add the text. So I'll click on text box, type my text, set my font and size, make it bold, align it to the middle and then add an animation to the text and I want to use a bounce but the difference is if we double click I chose to animate by letter so that means that each letter will bounce individually like this and then I'm going to click on this item which is the text at the bottom of the animation pane drag it all the way to the top Make it happen with previous and then set the duration down to one and a half seconds. So what this will do is animate the text as everything else is animating, which gives it a nice, quick, but interesting effect. Great. And then as in the intro, very quickly, if you press control D on the slide, we can format this background so it's a dark color. Change the text to white. You can see how easy it is to make variations on your custom animated title slide. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.